Finally tonight, it's been a year since California passed a law letting driverless cars on the road. And major automakers are now busier than ever building vehicles that don't need you. Terrell Brown has more. It looks like an SUV driven right off the showroom floor. But this Cadillac SRX is not like anything you've yes. seen before. So my feet are just sitting down here and my hands are off the wheel. And you will see that it has to operate the brakes, the throttle, the steering, as well as turn signals. The fully autonomous vehicle was designed by engineers at the GM Collaborative Research Lab at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. Jared Snyder is one of the lead engineers. So we're coming up on a red light. And it's turning red now. And you can see the car is stopping for the traffic light. You see as the green arrow happens here, the car knows about that. The car makes all decisions involved in driving, like when to change lanes and how to navigate busy roads. It's good at detecting cars. It's good at tracking them, knowing how fast they're going, how far away they are. And then it has some intelligence to make decisions about what to do in that case. Like, can I pull out in this lane or, or do I need to wait for that car to go by? The vehicle is equipped with a hidden system of lasers, radars and cameras that give the car a 360 degree view of the road. All of the information is fed to a computer network underneath the trunk, which makes 100 decisions per second. Now we're actually showing you what it looks like from a camera view. So not only can we detect certain things, now we're classifying objects. This is a pedestrian, now there's a, a bicyclist. Is this just a cool idea or do you see this really being on the road in the next decade or so? I, I see it being on the road. I mean, we see it on the road today. There, there's cars that have adaptive cruise control. There's cars that can park themselves. The race is already on. In August, Nissan announced they will have a fully autonomous car on the road by 2020, just over six years from now. A report this year found autonomous driving modes will be available in roughly 41% of cars worldwide by 2030, rising to 75% by 2035. Four other companies say they have self-driving cars on the way. Congressman Bill Schuster is planning hearings on how this technology can become reality. We believe this technology, uh, once it gets into the fleet, will reduce significantly the fatalities and accidents on our highways today. Carnegie Mellon's researchers say these cars will likely roll out in the luxury market, but eventually could add just five to $7,000 to the cost of a new car. A small price for your very own chauffeur. Terrell Brown, CBS News, Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania.